But this is our third kit in the remote control and it's the all rounder kit. This kit is absolutely dynamite, so hang around and we'll explain why. We're thinking you're going to be doing one tenth scale here and anything smaller. And it'll take you in remote control um, canopies such as helicopter canopies, planes, and it'll also take you in boats. Uh, anything that's got a paint job external, you'll need to clear coat. Anything that's underneath Lex and like clear, clear Lex and like this, you don't need to clear coat. Okay, so what do you get? Now, first of all, let's talk about the Lex in itself. So this is the body, it's a one tenth scale. Um, and it's from HPI. It's pretty slippery on the inside, so what we do, what we recommend you do, is you sand the inside with 600 grit wet and dry. Don't sand the windows, just sand the painted areas, and the paint will last a lot longer, and instead of paint, you know, replacing your, your Lexan bodies more often, you're only replacing them when you whack them into something. So there's a helpful hint for you for your bodies to last longer. So as far as the airbrushes are concerned, now this is absolutely where it matters. These airbrushes are designed for those that do not want to learn how to use a top feed airbrush. It takes a lot longer to use one of those airbrushes. If you want to get results straight away, then the trigger handled airbrushes will give you results for people who have never used them. And you know, in this particular instance, remote control, you'll use them forever and a day. So what do we get? Well, first of all, we've got the CN. As you can see, it's got a great big handle there and a trigger on the front of the trigger is instead of on top, we've actually got like a spray gun. So if you pull back, you'll get air, then you'll get material, and you let it go, it stops the material. So on the back, you have an end stop. If you wind it out, the trigger will travel further back, giving you more material. And if you wind it in, you can control the amount of material by having less material, and that's a 0.35. And it's capable of a hairline up to a three quarter inch fan pattern. So this we're thinking you're gonna be all your detail work. It has a cup on top, which unscrews and has got a cut lid and you can take that off and you can put the smaller gravity feed cut on top. It comes with a spanner, none of these come with soup oil, it comes with a spanner for undoing your nozzle for replacement or for cleaning. So the other airbrush um, we've gone for is the TRM2, it's a 0.5mm, there again it's very similar in the respect that it's a trigger. So if you've got an injury or a disability, these are fantastic too because if you've got um, arthritis, you can still use an airbrush instead of having to use the one on top, which is really, you know, you can't use it if you've got arthritis or carpal tunnel, but you can use one of these. So if you've got any of those issues, these are the way to go. Now this is capable of detail and it will go up to a one and a half inch fan pattern. So the first thing I'll show you is it's got an arm that screws onto the side, which has a little outlet on the bottom and you get a 30 mil solvent proof bottle and you can plug that up, okay? And you can have that pivot uh, by undoing it, you can pivot to whatever angle you need so it's out of your way and then do it up. Okay, so that allows you for larger volumes of paint uh, and basically put airbrush cleaner in that. We'll explain why. So that is that particular setup. You get two cups here and they're both of them are quite sizable. The first one um, is the smaller gravity feed cup, which is probably plenty enough to do your, uh, your, you know, your, your point eights and that sort of thing. And you can do that up and you can pivot it to whatever angle you want. So you can work at whatever angle and you won't get any paint spillage and that comes with a cup lid. Now, other than that, you get a bigger cup. Now this cup is big enough to do a whole RC body, a one tenth scale um, on the inside and you might top it up a second time, but there again, do it up and you've got a nice large uh, bottle there of a cup so you can actually do your hole inside. You get a spanner, like I said, and that is from doing the nozzle for replacement or for, for cleaning. So that is your airbrushes. Now we've coupled this up with this particular compressor. It's a Powerjet Pro. It's the best compressor that comes into Australia. You know, we got 60 PSI and both of these airbrushes running flat out and you can dial it down as low as you want. So that's plenty of PSI for the paints that we're going to be using. So with the compressor itself, you know, it's an oilless dual piston, no maintenance. It's very quiet, so you can use this in a small environment and you won't hear it next room next to you. Uh, as far as the compressor, it weighs 12 kilos. So one six horsepower, it's got a two litre tank. The tank means no pulsing at all. So what you, your airflow is continuous, you don't get any pulsing at the gun, so you don't get any bursts of paint. So that's fantastic. Um, and it's also capable of 34 litres of air per minute, which is exactly what you need when you're painting bigger areas like legs and bodies. So as far as um, the unit, it's got a nice solid case, it's got a carry handle on top and it's got a non-off switch on top. 
It's got two hoses. They're both coil hoses, but they're both three meters long if you extend them. And they also disconnect off the top, pop off, so you put them away or whatever you need to do. So that's the way they disconnect, both of them do the same. You have two airbrush holders. And you have two gauges up here, as you can see, two knobs. And you can see the gauges at the front, they're PSI gauges. And you can set one to a different pressure to the other, so you can have both airbrushes running at different PSI. So one for doing detail at a lower PSI, say 12, 15 PSI. And the other one running flat out, so you can paint your background. So you can leave it set and off you go, perfect. You've got uh, two moisture traps, one on either side. So there again, if you get moisture in it, you just depress it and the moisture comes out. So these particular items work together like a perfect marriage. Now, as far as warranties are concerned, you get a one year Australia wide warranty. Um, the airbrushes, like all videos, if you drop it, if you scratch the surface with a needle and do a needle or a nozzle, crack the nozzle, don't put it on properly and split the nozzle. If you do an O-ring or if you soak it into a valve, you know, anything like the paint that you've left in it, anything you've created the issue with the airbrush is not covered by warranty. So given all this, we've got two airbrushes. So we're going to put in two pistol grip filters, one for each. That way, you've got a moisture release valve underneath each one because in the hose, you know, basically if you're in a humidity zone or you've got a high temperature, you can get um, condensation in the hose which will find its way into the airbrush so that stops it from getting into the airbrush okay um, so you get one for each airbrush and we're also going to add two of the disconnect sets so one for each airbrush and the male goes up underneath the trap like that the moisture trap and the other one goes to the end of the hose which allows you to disconnect at any stage for anything that you need to that is very professional so that takes in you know, a great setup as far as hardware. And the only thing that we've added other than that is a, uh, a cleaning station for my lot of the glass jar. You can take it off to clean it after you've uh, used it. And you can put your airbrush into the jar and depress the trigger and spray or your overspray and your paint into that instead of having it go all over your equipment or over your products that you're painting. So that is an extremely professional setup. Uh, allows you quick changes uh, and, and great gear. So now we need some paint. So we're looking at water-based base coats here of automotive grade pigment. Now they're going to be suitable, all these paints are suitable to Lexan. You can use anything from AutoWear colours, Wicked colours, Createx illustration colours and Autoborn colours on Lexan or any of your hard surfaces. So we recommend you um, start your reduction at around about 20% with high performance reducer. So here's a 240ml of high performance reducer for that. And that will allow you to reduce all the colours and that then when you finally clean it out, you'll clean it out to start with the water because obviously it costs nothing. But then give it a final flush with high performance reducer to get rid of the automotive grey pigment and be surprised what still comes out. That came to your airbrush cleaner. So airbrush cleaner, a 240ml in this kit. That's for in between colour changes or when you want to give it a clean like you've gone to a phone call or something of that nature. Nice so give it a quick flush out when you come back it'll still be working. We also suggested that you keep this bottle for cleaner. So basically you would put airbrush cleaner in here and if you're going to use the bottle straight from the bottle, which we'll explain a little bit later, that will allow you to clean your airbrush in between colour changes. So remember that, the bottle that comes with the TRN2, put airbrush cleaner in it. So the paints themselves, we've put in a wicked primary set one, you get five solid colours here. So after two coats to three coats, you get solid colour. Um, concentration so basically opaques. You would use them to do your detail work as well as you know solid representations and you get a 60 mil of the reducer. So we'll explain what we'll do with that in a minute. So they're all 60 mil sizes. Now also with the wicked colours we put in fluoros because RC is popular. Put in fluoro green, fluoro yellow, fluoro pink, fluoro orange and fluoro purple. They're all 60 mil. So we're going to think that you're going to be wanting to use some colours here, some, some colours have got some extra go in them. So the pearls, wicked colours again, 60ml pearl white, pearl black, pearl yellow, pearl red and pearlised blue. For backing off your, your bodies, you know, if you've got nitro, you're still going to need to use something like Tamiya afterwards over the top but to start with. And the electric, this is fine. 
for anything that's got, um, uh, you know, like the, your nitro, you're going to need to use something to beat the nitro fuel. But look, for everything else, start off with sealer. So Autoborne sealer white at 120 mil and Autoborne sealer black at 120 mil. You put the white over the lighter colours and put the black over the darker colours. If you want to get it real specific, if you use a colour like blue on the website, you'll see there's 11 more colours available. Select the Autoborne blue and put that behind the back of the pearlised blue and you'll get a really clean, solid colour that will separate your shell from the rest. So what else are we going to put into this kit? Well, all these paints, we're thinking of the TRN2 here and the bottle. So, okay, we're thinking they're gonna have the adjustment up there for bottles, which is this particular arm. And you wanna paint the whole background. If you're not gonna use the cup, then you can use the fast blast lids. And the fast blast lids are also called bottle adapters and they will plug straight up underneath here. Now, the advantage of that it is you can have like we're going to put 18 in this kit because there's 18 in total so one for every color and the 40 mil of the auto born sealers including the reducer so you can flush out the reducer so you cut you take the cap off put the cap on top and cut it to the length of the bottle so each color now can be quickly changed and you can paint the backgrounds of your your bodies really quick so that is a huge advantage if you want to get stuff done quickly um, now as far as taping, we've gone into taping for you too because we know you want to do some designs. Um, so the 1 16th inch V-tape, it's a 50 metre roll, that'll go around a 5 cent piece. So that is excellent for taping up your designs inside your legs and body shelves. Uh, and from there, you can back mask it, which you go half onto the tape you've put down and half onto the shelf. So you would actually back mask it with this um, and we put in because you want it to be able to conform reasonably well to the one you've already put down. So we've put in a quarter inch um, 3M green automotive masking tape and it's 55 metres. These are really clean lines after you pull them off. Okay, so you can even use this just for your designs alone if you need to. So the last product that we put in this kit, Dynamite. Um, this is uh, Auto Mask and it's in the masking section on the website and look, it's, it's 91 metres on a roll and it's a paper adhesive. Now you can use it for multiple things here. You can draw your design out and you can put it in your shell, cut it out, peel out a bit you want to spray, spray it, put it back, peel out another bit and spray it so you can use it like a frisket. Or you can use it for back masking so you don't get anything over the rest of your shell when you're doing your smaller applications. So this is pretty much you know, the, the best kit, I think, value for money with, with airbrush gear that if you don't want to get involved with airbrushing on a professional level but still get professional results, Hence, this kit will work extremely well for you. Not only remote control, think outside of that, this will work on a multitude of things. Here are some examples of some shells that have been painted by Airbrush Megastore's customers. As you can see, they're fantastic. Everything up from novice all the way to some professional outfits here. But did you know that as far as paints are concerned, you can use anything on the RC shells from Autoair colours, from Wicked colours, from Createx Illustration colours, the Candy 2Os and the Autoborn Sealers. So there's a colour range that you can use in which these body shells have been created with. They're not anybody else's colours. This is the colour ranges in which we've given you here and that are subject to these kits. So here's some more footage. Go grab yourself some paints, grab this kit and get out there and start painting some shells. And don't forget to send us an email of your shells. We want to see them.